Right back, Lucas Pauschek and centre forward Alexander Chavric. Left back, the young Italian Riccardo Calafuri also comes in for his first UEFA club appearance in this campaign. Three defeats and a draw in that run as well, so the away form does need to improve for Basel, who currently lie 11 points behind the leaders' young boys in the Swiss Super League. There's Lova. Measured ball in behind for Chavrich. Well, the angle was tight, but he got the shot on target. Calafuri. Risky challenge by Abena. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Well, he gave himself a, a fair bit of thinking time there, the referee. I mean, it does seem a soft one. Bradley Frink has uh, made sure he's gone down. How much contact was there, it's difficult to tell. It does seem incredibly harsh. But I think when it looks untidy like that from a defender, takes a few deep breaths and regains his composure. And tucks it away! And despite the best efforts of the Slovan Bratislava supporters to put him off, young Darian Marlez keeps his cool. And Basel lead here in Bratislava. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Cool, calm and collected Darian Marlez, who was disappointed with his own performance. And it's Slovan Bratislava nil, Basel one. And the referee will certainly have won himself. No friends locally with the award of that penalty, which did seem incredibly harsh, no matter what angle you looked at. Palma wanted that more than Barsegian. Going outside him, his Fink. And good save from Chauvin. Of course, it's the concern of how long you're going to be out and how much damage you've done. He's replaced by Liam Miller, the Canadian international. Love that. Jack Vitadza. Oh, good effort! Forced the save out of Selvi. It's as close as Slovan have come in this first half. Chuck for Tadza. Stepped away from Lang. You see him look up. And that wasn't a bad hit at all. Chuck for Tadza. Oh, he's gone down. Penalty. Well, is that an evening up process from the referee? Because that seems soft as well. Slips over there. Wins it back from Miller. Well, there's a little tug on him from Miller. To be fair to Kuchka, he stayed up after the first challenge. It's more of a penalty than Basel's. There, he's got hold of him there. Vladimir Weiss then for the home side. Down the middle. And it's 1-1. In terms of how it's gone in the first half, it's probably fair. But there did seem an element of levelling up the spot kicks there from Sergei Boyko. Straight down the middle, no chances taken from Vladimir Weiss. And his second goal in European competition this season is first of the... And it is level at half-time. No chances at a premium, but a penalty apiece has seen both sides get on the score sheet. Leveling for Slovak. It is the home side who kick off the second half. And here's Juraj Kuchka. 
a great deal to do tonight, Mirko Salvi. That one save from Chak Vatadza in the first half. Made a good fist of keeping out Vice's penalty, but couldn't. And the header on, and it's in! Slovan turned the game around, and it's Juraj Kuczka. Three minutes into the second half. And the Slovakian champions lead again against Basel. Now well, the stadium erupts. Kuczka's first goal in the group stages. And Bratislava, a point ahead of Basel in the table. Poor marking. And Juraj Kuczka took full advantage. It's another assist for Cech Vatadza who created both their goals in the first game. His corner headed in this time by Kuczka. Walter Berger was the player marking him. Barsegian. Chavrich looking to get in behind. And it's three. Alexander Chavrich and Slovan Bratislava score twice in four and a half minutes at the start of this second half and Chavrich who scored the second goal in Basel could well have put this game beyond his opponents tonight clinical finish from Alexander Chavrich but it's a delightful ball through from Tigran Barsegian and talk about keeping your cool. It's a lovely finish last week. And that one is its equal. Slovan three, Basel one. Oh, Basel really up against it now. They're going to have to throw everything forwards. Doy's corner, Fabian Fry, Miller hits it, straight at the goalkeeper though. Ndoy, little touch by Berger, out to Fry. And clearly has to be a free kick. And it's the uh, first yellow card for a Slovan player, goes the way of Jabba Kankova. Granit Xhaka over it, Fabian Fry as well. It is Xhaka! And it's a good save. It was on target, just too close. Wouter Berger. Dutchman spreads it out to Dan and Doy. Comas. Well, talent Jacker not at all happy about being replaced. Zeki Amduni is coming on. Bradley Fink off as well. It's two strikers actually that are coming on. Zakiri and Am Duni. And Andy Juf is the third player to come on, a central midfielder. Last week against Slovan Bratislava at centre forward, a fairly ineffective game though from him. Here's a chance for Juf. Good block, Juf again! And Basel are right back in it. And it's Andy Juf, one of the three substitutes who scores. And we are back to 3-2 with 25 minutes still to play. Now talk about determined Juf. Exchange of passes there with Amduni. That was the first block. But Juf was the quicker to react to the loose ball when it flicked up off Kankova. And the presence of mind as well, just to guide the header past Adrian Chauvin. Continue to increase the pressure. And credit Alexander Fry, his triple change had an immediate effect with Amduni involved and Juve scoring. Clear tug on the shirt of uh, Georgi Chakvatadze. Yeah, I think he is going to see yellow. Referee just wanted to make sure that 
Lang was looking at him. As is Vladimir Weiss, so the two wingers make way. Now Andre Green thrown into the action for Slovan in place of Vladimir Weiss. Check for Tadza's free kick. Lang with the header away. Only as far as Pauschek. And a long-range effort. Which is uh, well off target. Calafuri. Juf. Lang is forward. Good ball across. And it's the equaliser. 3-3. Zakiri on hand. Juf again involved, but what a ball by Lang. And Zakiri was just the hungrier, getting there ahead of Cassia and towing it into the corner. And what a response from Basel. And Ricardo Calafuri is coming off now. And Noah Katterbach. The German under-21 international is coming on. Mustafic. And again by Kuchka. Sliding challenge on Kankova. From Zakiri. And it's the Venezuelan international, Eric Ramirez. Who is coming on for the final ten minutes or so. Lucas Pauschek off. Player who started the fun really with the opening goal last week in Basel. On by Kuchka. Medvedev swings the cross in this time. Goalkeeper comes through it and claims it. Fabian Fry. And it does finish 3 3. A wonderful game. Daria Marlez putting Basel in front from the penalty spot. Vladimir Weiss levelling with a penalty of their own for Slovan, but what a start they made.